the city of Egan held its first ever Big Rig Rally in early June. The event was held simultaneously at the Central Maintenance Facility and at Fire Station 1. While the Big Rigs gathered the attention of the little ones, it was the remodeled maintenance center and the brand new fire station that were on full display. The Central Maintenance Facility went through major renovations, the first of its kind in nearly 30 years. Uh, we're trying to uh, make sure that we have space that provides for the services that we provide to all the citizens and uh, businesses within the community. Well, we nearly doubled the size of the maintenance facility as far as indoor space. Uh, one of the biggest things is a new me mechanics area, and so we've got a up-to-date shop for the mechanics to work on all of our vehicles. It's a larger space for them to work on vehicles. Our fleet has grown over the last 30 years. Our needs have grown. Uh, one of the biggest, most noticeable differences is the elevation of the ceiling in the mechanics area. The old elevation was so short that we couldn't work on all of our vehicles. We literally had to uh, take the hoist outside in order to put some of the bigger fire trucks up in order to work on them. The fire station, located at the corner of Black Hawk and Diffley, was built from the ground up and is the final stage of the fire department's overhaul. So uh, today is the grand opening of our newest fire station, Fire Station 1, which replaced two fire stations, old Fire Station 1 on Ron Road and Fire Station 5 on Galaxy. So we have uh, several fire trucks on display, we have our ATV on display, um, folks can go through and see the newest station. It's the last phase of our station consolidation, so we went from six fire stations to three. We're really excited about the location of this one because it's a, such a prime location. It houses two fire engines, a ladder truck, our water rescue equipment, uh, ATV for off-road uh, rescues, um, and about 30 firefighters. And you can kind of see when you're going through the station, we have a little bit of a Vikings theme going on. And our gear lockers and some of the other features throughout the station are purple and gold. Overall, the event was a major success with nearly 2,500 people stopping by to paint, play, and just have a good time.